So he is the friend of Allah. Ibrahim السلام, is the friend of Allah and he is certainly distinguished in his virtues in the way that he's talked about in the Quran over 70 times referenced. No prophets du'as are spoken about, supplications are spoken about more than Ibrahim السلام. He's praised in very special ways. The Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam was uh, once with his companions and a man came to the Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam and he said, Ya Khayr al bariya O best of mankind, O best of mankind. And the Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Thak Ibrahim Alayhi Salam, that is Ibrahim Alayhi Salam. Now you might be wondering, wait a minute, but isn't the Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam Khayru Khalqillah, the best of Allah's creation? Isn't he uh, the Sayyid of Bani Adam? The, the chief, the master of mankind, mercy to the worlds? The answer to that is yes. And the scholars say that this is the Prophet وسلم, uh, praising him in a specific way while also showing humility alayhi salatu wasalam himself. So Ibrahim alayhi salam is an incredible human being, an incredible prophet distinguished amongst the messengers of Allah. And some of the scholars as they talked about fadl, they talked about virtue, they said that after the Prophet وسلم, he is the greatest of the messengers of Allah, ulul azm uh, min al rusul, the messengers, uh, Nuh alayhi salam, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam, Jesus peace be upon him, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that Ibrahim alayhi salam after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa is the most distinguished of them all. There are many reasons that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to us uh, for this. One of them is that after Ibrahim alayhi salam, all of the prophets descend from him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen him in that sense, that it would be from his offspring. And if you think about how incredible that is, that Ibrahim alayhi salam reached adulthood, being rejected by all of his people, all of his people, with the exception of his wife Sarah and his nephew Lut alayhi salam, Ibrahim alayhi salam reached a place of adulthood and he did not have a single follower amongst his people, nor did he have a child. And there is a moment which we'll talk about where Ibrahim alayhi salam is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rabbi habli min al-salihin, that, oh Allah, grant me some righteous you know, uh, children or grant me a righteous child, someone that will inherit this message, that will continue on this message. And Ibrahim alayhi salam is making that dua, making that supplication as an adult. And this is not, you know, as, as a very young man, this is Ibrahim alayhi salam after he's really uh, you know, spent a long time with his people, his own people calling them to Allah. There's almost a sense of finality, right? That he's expelled from, from his people or by his people after being thrown into a fire and he's leaving them. And he does not know what, what exists on the outside of his people. His da'wah was to his people primarily. His call was to his people primarily in Iraq for all of those years. And he doesn't know what's going to come. And look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him. Allah gave him not just multiple uh, children and grandchildren, but made him the source of prophethood for everyone that would come after him. So he has a, uh, a lineage of prophethood that descends from him from multiple directions. And you know, the greatest human beings after him all come from him, alayhi salatu wasalam. And so this is a special uh, gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him.